everybody there. Uh, this is Raph's Hounds Report. My name is Andy. This is Tone. This is Eric. And we've got a fun little game to introduce to you people at home. You can play it yourselves. Take the, take the home version. Make a board game out of it. Do whatever you want. We're going to call it the Pauly Shore Game. Now, the way this game works is we're going to mention a movie. Think about real in-depth. I think instead of call it the Pauly Shore Game, we should just call it Pauly Shored. Or just Shored. If it's Pauly Shored where it's R apostrophe D, then I approve. Yes. All right. All right. We, you good with that? We in agreement? Yeah. All right. Pauly Shored did. With an exclamation point. In red lettering. Underline in bold. <laughs> point being... Tone, explain how the Pauly Shore thing works. Well, for example, you think of a movie. And think of a movie that you love. Um, I know in a recent episode we spoke about Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm-hmm. Now think of Guardians of the Galaxy. Think of the, the Chris Pratt's character, Star-Lord, and how he went from a young boy watching his mother dying on her deathbed to a inter- intergalactic... I don't give a fuck. <laughs> They're late for the party. That's on them. Oh, yeah. Uh... He goes through this intergalactic struggle where he becomes basically the savior of the universe. Mm -hmm. Now think of that movie from start to finish. Mm -hmm. I replace Chris Pratt with Pauly Shore. Mm -hmm. Imagine Pauly Shore in various roles that he would never, ever be selected for. And not Pauly Shore acting in the role, but Pauly Shore being the Pauly Shore character in that role. Well, so him Pauly, doing the whole like see, I'm the weasel, hey buddy, munchies and bra hams and surfing my weed, gat. yeah, my gad. <laughs> I mean, we all know Pauly Shore's career died like what 15 years ago. Well, they made that movie. Pauly Shore is dead. Yeah, and people actually that. thought he died because nobody followed him. Like no one, like they're like, oh really? That's sad. Mm. Oh well, let's move on with our life. Yeah. <laughs> but think of think of like Guardians of the Galaxy, and you think I thought to myself maybe he would work as Groot, but even then I went no, hmm. no, not even Rocket Raccoon, not as Drax. I could see as Drax. <laughs> Nothing go over my head. I'm too fast. <laughs> And then you'd be all scrawny and stuff, and then just <laughs> the knives. Yeah, with the, little, the red lines. Just like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> see, I keep I keep wanting to say Uchi Smoochies or whatever, but isn't that Jay from Jay and Silent Bob? See, and even then, all right, take Pauly Shore and put him in Jay's role, and it's close, but still worse, I think. Well, like, it's, it's like you're taking an 80s character and putting him in a 90s role. Pauly Shore was 90s, was right? He? Eric, you should know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was early 90s, right? That was when he hit his peak? Somewhere I in the early 90s? I feel like it was. Yeah, because there was Son-in-Law. Bison- yeah. Not by Centennial Man. What's the one? Um, The Caveman one with Brandon Fraser. Jurassic Park. Yes. He was in Jurassic Park. Speaking of Jurassic Park, taking a step back <laughs> to Guardians and Chris <laughs> Pratt. I think Paulie Shore actually would not do that bad in the Chris Pratt role. In the new Park. Jurassic Park? No. No, in it's Guardians. <laughs> really? It well, was they a are, pretty funny role. They are both kind of goofy. Yeah. I'm, I'm imagining mm. him doing that dance contest at the end of the movie. Okay. <laughs> the dance contest. The dance contest, I agree. That'd be pretty good. Then I can imagine him also in the very opening scene. Not. Was it the very opening where Star Lord first got the artifact? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. I can imagine Polly doing that. Star Lord, bro. <laughs> yeah. Who? I'm Star Lord. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing that half as the guy from the room. It's like Tommy <laughs> Wiseau and Polly Shore had a disgusting love child, and that was <laughs> brings me to would he be better? Polly Shore, would he be better in the room? Yo, turn me up, Polly. I can't even see. I'm such a bad Polly Shore impersonator, <laughs> and you're bad Tommy Uso person. No, I can, I can do Tommy Uso. Do Tommy Uso right now. <laughs> I didn't hit Yo, her. I no. didn't hit her. I swear, I didn't hit her. Oh hi, Mark. Mm. It's bad. Sorry, <laughs> I'm done. No more impressions for me. Notice how I'm not even trying because I know I can't do a good yeah. Tommy Uso. See, I'm not I afraid know I can. to try. That's true. I'm willing to take that step. He's a risk taker, a game changer. 
Furthermore, oh, I think Polly Shore <laughs> would do well in a movie that none of you have seen called <laughs> All Is Lost. I have not seen starring it. Starring Robert Redford. Oh, yeah. Because there's no dialogue at all. And I think Polly would do a great job just emoting uh-huh. stuff like uh-huh. that. Shit. Uh-huh. You know. Flipping his jerry curls and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, the ocean. Furthermore, I think he would do very well in Dallas Buyers Club. Oh, dear God. If he lost five pounds. <laughs> yeah. He'd have to look emaciated, so, you know, five pounds. Yeah. And, of course, I mean, when I say that, I mean in Jared Leto's role. <laughs> mm. Obviously. Wow. I think he would do good in a remake of The Running Man. I'll, I'll, rip my, I'll take my fist and rip out your goddamn spine. I you know? do request, bro. <laughs> That's not a poly short at all. It's fine. It's, I mean... I don't think he said bro. I don't think bro he was... He said more like bruh. Bruh? Bruh? He was kind of that weird, like, California, like, surfer dude kind of yeah. thing at the time that got big, like, Cowabunga and, you know, all that shit. Oh, yeah. That was real big around that time. That was when that kind of emerged, I think, as a cultural thing, you know. People didn't say dude, I don't think, before then, you know. Now, I know earlier when we first came up with this idea, mm-hmm. we, uh, spitting out ideas and we came up with The Matrix... And my original idea was he replaced Keanu Reeves. Mm-hmm. However, you said instead of replacing Neo, have him replace, replace Agent, Smith. Agent Smith. But now I'm thinking replace Morpheus. Because he'd have the red pill and the blue pill, and then he would take them both himself and trip balls for an hour and a half. <laughs> His face would just melt. <laughs> and then the movie turns into Malice in Wonderland. Yeah. What I Can think, you imagine yeah. that, though? Stop trying to hit me and hit me. <laughs> I can't do impersonations, y'all. Y'all got to be doing this for me. Come on. <laughs> I can imagine Polly being the Polly Shore in the red dress. Oh yeah, the... <laughs> I can imagine Polly Shore being the Polly Shore with the dragon tattoo. In, I don't... in the girl with the dragon tattoo. Ah, oh, the rape scene. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, 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 I. Oh. I'm done. I'm done trying. I can imagine Pauly Shore. Here's a drastic one. Pauly Shore in Viggo Morrison's role in A History of Violence. No. His role in... Uh, Eastern Promises. Oh, what's wrong with him and the kid? Pauly Shore doing a wide the kick. The road. No. <laughs> I think if you replace Viggo Morrison with Pauly at any point, <laughs> Pauly takes the cake. Oh, in every role, Vigo Mars in Lord of the Rings, yeah. you know, any of those. Doesn't he? No, I'm thinking of Sean Bean dies. Yeah, yeah Sean Bean always dies. That's his his resume is I died in, and then there's a list of movies. Except what about... in the movie where everyone else died, Silent Hill. Uh, yeah. He was in the second one. That's right. He probably died in the sequel. I've yeah, never seen. I've never seen it either. No one saw it because it sucked. I saw. I started watching it on Netflix, and I'm like, man. No. I look at my life. I could be okay. doing better things. I could be on a yacht right now. Speaking of Sean Bean, what if Pauly Shore played Littlefinger in Game of Thrones? I can no, oddly see No, Varys. Oh no, not Varys. Sorry. Da- Daenerys' brother. Viserys. The, give me the crown of gold. Yep. Him... <laughs> He that would actually work. Just getting this stuff melting on his head, and he's like, yeah, <laughs> you know, that would actually make sense. I think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's so disturbing. How how well that would actually work out? Oh, him as a like long haired blonde guy. <laughs> Polly Shore in Powder. I don't know. Really, none of you guys know Powder. That's all I remember from Potter. The guy's like, oh, the deer. Does <laughs> he imagine like, seeing the deer's eyes die and Polly Shore's like, in the background? Just... <laughs> Did Polly Shore... I don't even know what the fuck... None of us know Polly Shore that well. Biodome. Really? I've never Bio met him. <laughs> I saw Son-in-Law. I heard he died once. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's true. It was on the internet. He was in, in the army now. I think that was it. That, Andy was... Dick and Lori Petty, I God, think. That movie was horrible. I had a thing for Lori Petty. Tank Girl. Well, look, having a thing for a, girl, an actress is one thing, but enjoying a movie that she was in doesn't have to be the case. I don't know. 
I don't know, man. There was, uh, what's her face? Like Holly Berry, I think we'd all give her a go, but uh, not saying Catwoman was a great movie. Maybe it was. But maybe Pauly Shore played Catwoman. <laughs> the, the weasel. <laughs> the weasel man. Yeah. Mm. I'm surprised he didn't come out with a superhero called the weasel. Oh, yeah, because even like with Kevin Smith thing, he had Blunt Man and Chronic. Yeah, and that was like a comic series. That was action figures. But see, Kevin Kevin Smith like he takes an idea and he doesn't let it go. He's a like up. Walrus should never have been a movie. Tusk. Tusk Tusk should never have been a movie. But he talked about it on his podcast, and he and his friends laughed about it on the podcast, and then they're like, "Wait a second, I can make this into a film." Whoa. Yeah, Polly Shore as Justin Long in Zach and Mary make a porno. <laughs> With a mustache, talking about gay sex acts. Actually, that would work. I'm not even... Yeah, that would work fine. What if every mm-hmm. Seth Rogen, James Franco movie, you replace James Franco with Pauly Shore? What if you replace... I don't uh, really think it would make any difference. Yeah. James Franco is kind of a placeholder. <laughs> yeah, he's always played that stupid mm-hmm. stoner. Even in the interview, yeah. he was supposed to be like this professional like reporter. He, but he was still had that, like, that party... Party boy. Spring Break. <laughs> Wait. Pauly Shore is that character in Spring Break. Curse. Spring Breakers. That rapper guy? Yeah. Did, didn't that movie like, get sued or something because of that? I don't know if it actually... Okay. That character is based off a real guy who, by the way, is going into wrestling now. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, that's based off a real guy who threatened to sue the makers of the movie for ripping him off. I don't know if they did. Pauly Shore takes over for the lead singer of Die Antwoord. Ninja? Uh, yeah, Ninja. No, you know, I'm regretting that one. Pauly Shore yeah. as Bill Cosby. <laughs> in Ghost Dad. Pauly Shore as Demi Moore in Ghost. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> Making <a> clay pot. <laughs> Polly Shore as Larry Fishburne in Ghosts of Mars. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Polly no. Shore. This actually would, it would work as Lawrence Fishburne as Cowboy Curtis. <laughs> but that actually would make sense. So too much sense. Yeah. Speaking of making sense, uh, Larry Fishburne in Predators as Polly Shore as Polly. Yeah, <laughs> like Larry, and Larry Fishburne, <laughs> we're in Predators playing Polly Shore's part. It, it, as, as the Polly Shore predator. had a part. <laughs> I mean, you can't tell the Predator, the main Predator dude, is Polly Shore because he's under so much so much prosthetics. Well, then, and Polly Shore died. I mean, there was that time too that he was dead. Yeah, but I mean, with today's special effects, the way that they can insert robots into people's flesh. The way right the up through the anus corpse to move so <laughs> well. See, I heard that the way they do that, they stick like a robot pole up the anus, and then it extends to form like a robot skeleton. Mm-hmm. And then there's a guy just sitting there with like a laptop, you know, like this. If you're watching like this, really close, you see cords around. coming out the ass. That's why it's going mm-hmm. to the laptop. Yeah, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's how he is now. Yeah, Paulie yeah. Shore as the Terminator. The T1000 or the 800. 800. Yeah, 800 is Arnold Schwarzenegger. 1,000 is the Liquid Terminator. Oh, that's right. And then there's a female one, which Wait, is I like thought, above no, 1,000. I thought, I thought he was 1,000 and the Liquid was 2,000. No. Wow. No. Man. No. Polly Shore as Wyatt Earp in Tombstone with a mustache. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's a really serious, like... Polly Shore as Tom Hanks in Saving Private Ryan. Polly Shore yeah. as a Nazi general in some Nazi movie. I got it. It would be his groundbreaking role, Polly Shore, Castaway. So the only as character, the ball. The, no, the only character you would see throughout the whole movie would be just Polly Shore talking to a ball. Jesus, that would actually. Potentially, he'd be dead probably from like falling on the rock or something like 10 minutes into the movie. See, but he then survived they... the plane crash. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, 
he would somehow he, he would somehow he would somehow He'd hang sleep his, on a coconut and be like, yeah. he would somehow hang himself know. with some vines, Ooh, pulling tablecloth. <laughs> oh, so so what do you guys think about hanging yourself on vines? Tell us in the comments. <laughs> I, 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 you, want, you want to go back to the Pauly Shore part? No, no, no it's fine. Oh, okay. Well. If you guys think can think of some other movies that Pauly Shore would break or make, oh, God. and if you like the topic of hanging on vines. Send us your vine of hanging yourself. <laughs> Wait. Have your friend do it. Because I don't see how they would be able to. There are ways, alright? There are ways. Point make, being, send your rip scones or your snuff films. Mm -hmm. We love them. We love them. Hey there, everybody. Uh, Alan in the internet. Hope you like the video. Uh, we got more stuff coming up. Uh, we got our weekly videos. Be sure to like us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, uh, you know, do whatever. Keep just refreshing endlessly on our YouTube account. Watch everything we do, and we appreciate it. Goodbye.